Hello everybody and welcome to Just Women Africa. My name is Ola Loka Amosa, the founder of Just Women Africa. And today we're going to be having something very interesting. I'm already celebrating. I can't wait to taste it. And before we start the show, do not forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Tell a friend who knows a friend about Just Women Africa. And today on the show we have Ejewa Hall with us. Yeah, welcome to the show. Thank you. Alright, so can you tell us about yourself? Oh, <laughs> okay, so my name is Abba Ejiwa Ho, and I'm the CEO of Bofus Fafidi. Yeah, I'm um, reading a postgraduate course at Gempa Law, yes, and I'm combining it with this business. Okay. Yes. Alright, so to our viewers out there, I'm sure they'll be wondering, how old are you? 24. 24, so she's under 25. I'm now under 25, so he's doing great things, CEOs doing great things around. <laughs> Alright, so let's start. How did you come up with the name Bofruit? Bofruit Pakabi? Okay, so Bofruit is actually a traditional type of donuts. I mean, it's, it's, it's a category of donuts, but not exactly donuts. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is like the local, I mean, the Ghanaian authentic donuts. But people, most people um, try to, you know, Call it both. I don't know. Buffet is a, a local name. Yeah. Yeah. Right. For uh, for donuts, but it's not donuts. The uh, recipe is, is quite, quite different. different. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I think in Nigeria, I think it's called uh, pop -pop. Pop -pop. Yes. In Kenya, it's called mandazi. Yeah. It's almost the same. Yeah, thing. it's almost the same thing. All right. So how? Why did you use the name um, uh, Papa B? I don't even know where the name came from. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. So it was actually Pan or Papi B. Okay. When I started with the bread. Okay. Okay. So um, I just started with Instagram and I posted Pan or I created an account and I named it Pan or Papi B. And yeah. Yes, on Twitter too, the same thing and the name stayed. Stayed. Yeah. All right. So can you us, as I'm sure, how long have you been doing this for? Um, this is my second year. My my second year will be up in June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, almost two so, years. So, can you tell us why do you exactly decide to do both float? I'm not just both float or donuts for intentional users, but instead of put feelings inside it, which is not <laughs> what you normally get yeah. on the road side. Yeah, so basically, um, with a both with a both food, as I said, I started with bread. Okay. Yeah. And the bread really took a different phase when I was selling it online. People were really interested in the bread. So, buffet and bread, it's almost like the same line of production. Okay. Yeah, so my family decided to, you know, let us try the buffet. And they like buffet, so I used to make it for, for the house. Okay. And when I post it, people get interested and then I decided to, you know, take it as a business. So I started selling it during the COVID period. And that was how come, like, I started with the buffet. So initially, I didn't have the flavors in, in them, yes. Okay. But with time, I started noticing that um, when you eat it with maybe chocolate spread, like it tastes so good. Okay. So I, I went in with the chocolate. Then that was my first feeling I bought. Then a customer came in and she was like, for her, she doesn't like chocolate. She wants condensed milk. Okay. Yeah. Her name is Sid. Yeah. And when Sid told me that, she came. To, she actually came to my house. I was producing and she was like, I want condensed milk in my both fruits. And I said, okay. So I put condensed milk inside. That's when I had my second filling. Okay. Yeah. So after that, I tried jam, I tried peanuts, and I tried um, making milky Oreo. So I had five flavors within a span of like two months. Wow, five yeah. flavors. That That's was within, five, within a span of like two months. That's chocolate. Chocolate, Oreo, jam, peanuts, and condensed milk. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But now I have 17 flavors. 17? <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. So, can you name all of them? Oh, yeah, I can. But it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's, what, are your, what are your top My top, top sellers, top sellers? cookies and cream, white chocolate, and then condensed milk. Like, my top, 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 top. Yeah. Top three. Top three? Yeah. Right. Okay, so some of the... Yeah. I've not been eating like this before. Every time I'm going to drop one chocolate, then I'm trying to hit it. But today, I didn't hit anything. And the Oreo and the jam, 
Let's get out this morning. It's a boom. Mm. What? Mm. Mm. It's basically about two years ago. What have been some of your major challenges? Major over the, challenges. Over the last two years. Um, I think customer behavior, like customer well, you love behavior. Why they love the love the donuts so much? They get. No, Hyper. Some people don't really know how to, you know, behave. I mean, on the market, I, I don't know. You are trying to buy something from someone doesn't mean the person should, you know, um, be humiliated. Okay. Some people just speak anyhow, you know, because because they are paying you for twenty five CDs for a pack of both fruits. They, they think they've done everything in this world. That's my major issue with my clients. I mean, with people. Yeah. Some people are naturally nice, but some of them too. Their behavior doesn't really help because you know we business owners we actually sometimes go through a lot i don't know how to put it but sometimes you're really going through a phase in the business that you can't really pour out or vent on anybody sure. so the moment the customer comes in with that negative energy then it gives you like some dull attitude like sometimes i can just decide not to make go for it because someone had spoken to me anyhow someone has be misbehaved because i need time to you know process what the person has done but with time i've noticed that i have to detach my emotions too from the business you know okay. as much as i'm the ceo it's really not easy detaching your emotions because someone will say something very hurtful to you and you can't actually move that away and continue with business sometimes it makes you very down yeah, yeah so that's, I understand. that's one of my major for instance with the incident that happened yesterday, one lady was on was on the phone saying that it's the rider's choice to ride a motorbike. So if he has had an accident, it's none of her business. Well, she needs good. thank you. She needs her money or she needs her buffet ASAP. And I told her that the buffet is damaged. You can clearly see from the videos I sent to you that everything is poor. The rider has had an accident and this So I sent her back her money and you know, that was it. Okay. So someone like that, I don't think she'll come and place an order again. Or maybe even if she craves, I don't know how she'll go about it. Yeah. Okay. Basically but has finances been a challenge? No, never. What about staff? Do you, by the way, do you, do, you, do you make all of them yourself? Yeah, or I do. You have a, or you have a team? I, I do most of the production myself. So for the and my, with my mom. Yeah, mom. yeah, my mom is like my uncle. If I don't say this here, and she hears me talking about this without her, she will not do my both for me again. <laughs> She's always threatening me like that, you know. <laughs> all right. So, okay, yeah. can I take us through the process of how the buffet is made I and mean, then the ingredients and all? Okay, so. So, first of all, do you sell them fresh or do yeah, they fresh. also? Fresh every day. So, I work with pre orders because, you know, with doing pre orders, it helps you to know the exact number you need for the day. You don't need to do excess for that to be excess for you to want to sell it the next day. Okay. You get it. But then. If you do excess and then it remains, that means you'll be forced to sell on fresh buffet the next day. But for me, after 10 a.m., if you text me after 10, you might not get buffet for the day. Because I do the exact orders that I have. Okay. Yeah, that is that is how I go about my, my business. I don't want there to be any leftovers for me to want to sell it the next day. Okay. Yeah, until I'm fully established and then I, I, I have my own setup. Maybe I have a shop or something that people can walk in to buy. And I'm not scared to have leftovers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me to want to sell it the next day, then I can go ahead with you know making extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So can you just take us through the process in, into what how the buffets are actually made? How the buffets are actually for made for international users who are who are watching. <laughs> well, with my recipe, so is it a secret? Oh, it's not really a secret. But then um, the machines for the buffet are actually not like something that is very common it's, it's actually quite a complicated type of machine okay yeah and you can't use the normal donor mixer to do both it. okay yeah and i don't have the machines so okay. i use a general machine okay yeah and for me to be able to get both ready for people to buy like i mean to get both every afternoon i'm always up and out by 1 or 2 a.m wow. yeah to get to the general machine and i join a queue because okay. there are other people trying to make their own buffet. I'm not the only person who does buffet in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. So I'm there by 1 a.m. Yeah. I do my mixtures and then a driver brings me back home. We mold it and then now we wait for it to rise. So it needs heat, a certain amount of heat to rise. And then excess of the heat to make it go bad. 
it's, mm. it's a complicated type of something. <laughs> I actually, sometimes I'm like, hey, no, like sometimes you can do your mixture and then you know you've done so well. But the moment the sun, you need the sun for it to rise. Uh -huh. But the moment the sun is so high, then it starts melting. Wow. That's how it is. It's very, very stubborn. <laughs> yes, you can put it in the oil and then it will start misbehaving. Yeah. So with that one, so use your flour. I, I really, if I didn't tell you the recipe, it's really, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get it. Okay, so, yeah. so basically, how long does it take to basically make oh. it? Okay, so after you do, I do my mixtures, I wait for about six to eight hours for it to rise. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. After six hours, you can start frying. Maybe the first batch I did around 2 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Then we continue. So I'll be done with all my frying maybe by 3 p.m. And then all the deliveries will be out by then. Okay. Yeah, basically that. Uh, all right. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we've gotten to the interesting part um, um, to eat the both foot. So who did try open it? Or you don't? Open it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where's the Let's see, yeah. Let's see. So you take the sticker. Stickers, yeah. Okay. Tea stickers. Oh, and hair box. <laughs> but the packaging is done by Oti's brand. Yes. She does Shout out to Otiwa. Yeah. She does the packaging really beautiful. I'll be putting her details the below in the comments. So you can always contact her if you want me to do um, packaging on it. Any printing she'll do for you. Okay. Uh, I'm by the side. Hey. Let me do that. Oh, packaging is really good. Yeah. Packaging is really good. International standard. Very friendly to open. Voila. We have our both look smelling good. Let me pull that to the camera I hope you can see both fruits are donuts made in Ghana so how many flavors do we have here so we have jam condensed milk lotus biscoff and then chocolate yeah chocolate. four flavors four flavors okay, so which one do we taste first um that's jam right yeah that's jam okay so let's so you go with the jam first yeah let's taste the jam first All right. Mm, really enjoy running. Mm, this is lovely. Wow, what a jam too. This is nice. You guys should be urging your proof your papa be. Right now, 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 now. <laughs> this is really good. I'm going to have another bite. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Okay, let me taste the condensed milk. No, where's the condensed milk? This is it. But you have to be careful. It drips a lot. Okay. You have to the be condensed careful. milk? Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> this is good. Really, really good. Wow. You guys should be ordering both loads. We are missing and enjoying here. <laughs> okay. So, I tasted it. It tastes really, really good. Thank you. Um, I want to finish it again, but we have to go and read into it. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. All right. So, this is really, really nice. So, can you tell us who are your type of clients? Clients I think the students and then maybe I can say people between the ages of 30 to 40, the youth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the youth. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So do you just sell in, in Accra, the capital? Oh, we do deliveries um, nationwide, but sometimes that also stresses me a little. So I want to, you know, hold on with the outside Accra deliveries. I want to, yes, so I get, I mean, a firm ground. My work is done here. I've put you guys on. I've shown you the best buffets in Ghana. So it's up to you to swipe up and go get yours.
the rest I'm going to eat off camera so I can eat in grand style. I can't be sitting here and be acting all posh because you people are looking at me too much. You understand? I need some personal time to myself to devour these beautiful. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later. But on this note, make sure to swipe up and go get your buffers from Ejewa. I'll also post some of the flyers so you can see exactly what she has so you know exactly what to choose. Packaging on point, it comes to you still warm. You'll definitely enjoy it. Trust me. You guys saw for yourselves. I know it's something you want. Your mouth is already watering. So go get yours now. And it's so affordable. I even forgot to add. The price will shock you. Go over to her page. Just swipe up, add her and ask her. I yeah. yeah. I need to get my own machine so that I can produce well. Okay. Yes. Because me moving somewhere to do my mixtures and all, it's quite stressful. Yeah. I can so, imagine. Yeah. So I want to, you know, get my own machine. Yeah, literally up the whole night, you know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving to back to my next to my next question. Um in, in the beginning you mentioned that um, you're in law school. Yeah. Um at Gimpa. Yeah. So how are you able to combine that with work and your personal That's life? That's a question I, I actually don't know how to answer. Because I, I know law is quite demanding. It's very really demanding. Really very, very demanding. And it, ha it hasn't been easy. I mean, one has to suffer. And definitely not my business and definitely not law. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who should suffer. I am suffering. <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to balance myself very well. I want to put up, I mean, a system whereby I don't need to have direct contact with my clients. Maybe I'll fully just be in charge of production. Okay. Then someone will handle my socials and my orders. I think that's that's one of the solutions to my problems. Okay. Yeah. But apart from that, since I don't have anyone now, just doing what I can. Okay. So. As a lady under 25 um, doing business, how um, how do your clients relate to you or people? Do they look down on you because you're a woman or they um, encourage you or they discourage you? Um, can you tell all of yours? If I had listened to people, especially the friends I had in the beginning of my business, I don't think I would be here. Really, what were they saying? So you are done with uni and you want to sell buffers, you know, you why are you selling buffers, why buffers, you want to do every kind of business, because I'm always a business, I've always been a business person, yeah, I okay. mean, yeah, I've always been from way, from primary to JHS to uni, then to here, yeah, so you know, I had, a, I had discouragements from, I mean, my, my closest friends, my best friends, I mean, but some of them also encouraged me, they were patronized. But then I learned one thing, especially when I was running this particular business, your friends will never patronize you. They will stand up for, yes. And you know, now that people have seen that, oh, the business has grown and she's now a Jewa Bofoot, they try to come around. Oh, because now they see you are a brand. They want to associate with a brand. I get a lot of that. You know, people that never wanted to even buy from you, criticize you, and are Bofoot, and so they're Bofoot, and they're doing your mashishimu. I don't know if you understand Chi, but I mean, why we put stuff inside both foods and you expect us to buy? Yeah, I wouldn't eat this kind of both foods. But now they eat. Yeah, they come around. They, they, they order. Yeah, they don't order through me. You, they won't come and order through me. But you know, sometimes some people buy and then they take videos and you see those people hiding behind cameras <laughs> and be eating. They will be eating at the back. I've been seeing them. I've been seeing them, But they won't come and buy because they criticize me. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so basically, that's one of the challenges I faced when I was, you know, coming up. I got a lot of years. And people are like, oh, instead of you doing something better, instead of going to find work in an office, you're selling for food. Yeah. That is what I want to do. That's what I want to yeah. do. Oh. You like it? I love it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's Puffo, Papa B. Yeah. It's like a warm jam donut. It's yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm. So good. Oh. You like it, innit? I do like it. That's right. Right. 
Okay, guys, you're still watching Just Women Africa. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, tell a friend who knows a friend. And today we have Ejua Hall with us, CEO on the 25 of Papa B, Buffo Papa B. Right? I can see the packaging. Really, really nice. We're giving the details at the end of the show where you can make your order. Anyway, we're about to round up. Um, first of all, what will you do? So, uh, women out there who want to start business but um, are probably scared and able to take the first step what what can you what advice can you give to them give to them don't give up just motivate yourself because no one would motivate you what i'm doing i hardly get any motivation from anybody but then i just pray to god i think god has been good because um, I feel like when you, when you actually put God in your business, okay, like you're going to really go far. I have nobody I depend on. In as much as I have the support from my family, yeah, I really don't have anybody I depend on apart from God. And He's actually been good. He's just pushing my business far. So there, are, there are days that I wake up and I don't even want to work, but those are the days that I even get massive orders. Yes, okay. and, yes, and I, I go like, oh, I think it's the grace of God. So if you want to start anything, just put yourself to it. Get a plan. Start something. You don't need thousands of CDs or millions of CDs to start selling something mm -hmm. or doing a business. You can just start, I mean, doing something and then I'm sure God will you know, bless your business for you. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Has COVID been affected your business in any way? COVID. COVID was both with Papi B. Oh, okay. Yes. COVID, but it is COVID time that. I posted both of it I made from like for the house. You know? During the lockdown? During the lockdown. And when I posted the both of it, people were like, hey, this thing, I see some in traffic. I'm interested. Can you deliver? Are you selling it? I said, no, I'm not selling no. Now the next day, I came to say, I'm selling both of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I noticed the number of people that were asking about it. I said, no, I'm selling. Yes. So, yes, that was when like COVID time, I mean, the lockdown period. So mm -hmm. right after the lockdown, I decided to get some riders to come around and, you know, I had orders, who were ordering, and then that was it. So oh. COVID birds both with happy. COVID birds Yeah. All right. Okay, this is our, this is our last question. All right. Women, it has nothing to do with both floats, or that's the general question. Women around Africa say that um, it's hard being a woman, that men take advantage of them sexually, uh, but the directors, you probably see one or two women on the board out of like 20. Um, it's just basically hard. I mean, in some countries, you can't do stuff without a man signing on it. If, you, if you're married, you can't open a bank account. Um, if you're working, your salary goes to the man. What advantage, well, sorry, what advice can you give to women out there who are facing the same this? Or what are your, what are your thoughts? Okay, about men taking advantage of women. Yeah. I don't think I've been in such a situation before. But basically, I think women should stand for their stand on their own and stand for themselves. Yes, I think they should be proud of who they are. You don't need to work to give to the man, or the man needs to work and give to you, or the man doesn't need to really be a man of the house or a man of the family. You should do what you want to do. If you want to. If you really want to achieve something for yourself, you don't need someone to tell you what to do or what not to do. But you should, you know, come out as yourself, be who you are, and then build what you want to build for you. You don't have to let anybody dictate to you. Yeah. Okay, that's right. All right, we're going to have it from Ejua Uh Stand up and be you have what you have to be. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you for coming on the show, Joel. Thank you. I wish you all the very best with uh, Buffalo Papa B. I'm definitely making orders. Yes. <laughs> Alright, but before we go, if somebody wanted to order, how, how can they reach you? Oh, you can. Yeah. My Instagram page, okay, just place and just text us, send us a DM. We have a short link that links you to our WhatsApp um, page. So when you send us a DM, just um, tell us what you want or tell, just text us a hi. We'll send you the menu, then you choose from it. We'll deliver to you wherever you are, okay? Uh, All right. Okay, Joe. Yeah. Alright, so guys, thank you for watching um, Just Women Africa, the show on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, tell a friend who knows a friend about Just Women Africa. And to the next show with Adria here, it is. Bye! Um,
All right, cool. Oh, thank you so much.